Hi everyone, Bumpity Cantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Chris Stapleton from A Room Volume 2. This is the second of two album released this year by singer and songwriter and former singer and guitarist for the Steel Drivers, Mr. Chris Stapleton. Now, I'm familiar with Chris's last album, as well as the album he dropped earlier this year, and personally, I've been having a hard time appreciating him as much as I think I should. This feeling mostly being generated by the unbelievable hype for Chris and his music, with him being pushed not just as a talented musician, but as a breath of fresh air in the country music genre. Like, just because he's not indulging in the same wash, rinse, repeat cycle that many mainstream country artists are, that he's like God's gift to Nashville. And for sure, credit where it's due, Chris does have some good songs writing chops, his voice has a very nice range, but up until this point, he had really failed to drop any music that, for me, would make him an artist that would leave a lasting impression on the country genre. He did get a Grammy nod though, and he is getting praise from the mainstream to the underground of the country scene, and he is writing above the very low bar set by uh, the CMT set, so maybe that's enough. It's far from just run-of-the-mill modern country, a lot like many of Chris's more interesting contemporaries like Casey Musgraves and Jason Isbell or uh, Sturgill Simpson. He's not simply a country purist. He fuses the genre with other styles, in his case, soul, blues, and rock music. Not a revolutionary combination, but certainly enough to leave these nine tracks feeling pretty diverse, pretty versatile, like the hard grooving guitar chords on the song Hard Living, which contrast very nicely to the rustic folk balladry on Scarecrow in the Garden. Occasionally, the instrumentals on this thing run a little generic, a little bland. For example, the song Drunkard's Prayer checks about every box one would need to to make a stereotypical country song. It's almost like Chris is just working from a template on this thing. With the twangy acoustic guitar chords and drawling lead vocals, I mean the one saving grace about the track is its confessional lyrics and even those are loaded with their own cliches. And occasionally on this thing Chris's songwriting does tend toward uh, being overly sentimental like on Millionaire and Friendship, but you know when he's on point on this thing, he's on point. Like the roaring midnight train in Memphis, which is uh, very good. A fiery country rock tune about being put in jail for 40 days because he can't pay a fine. He talks about being surrounded by shotguns and barbed wire, hearing a train in the distance, moving along, free while well, he's cooped up in here. Uh, obviously this trope reminds me of Johnny Cash uh, talking about the train rolling as he is stuck in Folsom prison. Then there's also the very funny trying to untangle my mind where Chris is talking about de-stressing, uh, handling his mental problems through just getting high, trying to relax. It's this introspective, soulful, but also kind of low down track. I get the sense in the lyrics that Chris is in need of some kind of personal change and yet he doesn't know how to muster up the strength to actually change him or the world around him. There are some great background vocals on this thing and overall this song sounds like a great country rock tune you could hear roaring out of the front door of some dusty southwestern bar. Simple Song is one of the more underwhelming cuts here, but it does have some compelling lyrics dealing in life and mortality. Uh, some of the mentions of like having high cholesterol and stuff kind of remind me of some of the lyrics from Sun Kill Moon's Benji, but with like a country veneer on it. And I cannot end this review without mentioning Nobody's Lonely Tonight, which is pretty much a vocal stunner. Chris is often touted for his vocal abilities, and if those shine on any track here, it's this one. I love the dreary descending guitar chord progression on this thing, the 3-4 timing. It's all a very good, subtle, pretty little foundation for when Chris just kind of wails out and reaches into his upper register. His vocal performance is just great. There's also a spotlight guitar solo that's quite nice. I wouldn't say I'm a Chris Stapleton convert, but I'm definitely starting to see the hype on this thing. This thing doesn't quite have the rootsy grit or bite that I usually enjoy my country music to have, at least not in spades anyway, but the production performances and songwriting are most certainly here. Hardcore fans of his work are most likely already familiar with this album, but for anybody who has been Chris Stapleton skeptical up until this point, I recommend you try this thing out. I'm feeling a light to decent seven. Hey, Tran. Too much, I'd like to get something for you, Clark. Something real nice and 